So you went to Whaley first. Yeah. Um, when you was at Whaley, did you bump into any future Pyru kids? Yeah, I did. <laughs> well, see, Whaley. <laughs> or was some big. of them might have already been Pyru. Yeah, Whaley was a Whaley was a mixed background of it, you had Pyrus, you had you had a few cribs, you know what I'm saying? But it was cool. Like I got into fights up there at Whaley too, though. But it was um it was cool though. Like you know, I had a I, I had a few Pyru homies. You know what I'm saying? We was cool. You know, I was never from no hoods, but I associated with the Pyrus as a sixth and seventh grader going to Whaley. You know what I'm saying? Like I had a few uh, Pyru homeboys, and we was like, we was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know where they at to this day, but from the ones that I remember, we was cool growing up. So, so then after you got banged on that first day at <laughs> at, at uh, Walton, yeah, you must have been what seventh grade. No, I was eighth grade. Eighth grade. I was eighth grade. Um, did you decide at that point, maybe I need to be from somewhere? Nah. It was just like, I was like, damn. It, like, what it was, was it, it, it surprised me because going to the schools that I went to, before I went to Walton, I didn't have that problem. You know, because I knew everybody. But because I felt like, you know, like I said, the school year, a lot of these cats know each other. They probably went to elementary and middle school together. So I'm the new face. You know what I'm saying? So me getting banged on, I'm like, this is just it's just part of the program. So I'm like, okay, you banged on me. And after that, I didn't have no issue. So I started to hang out with the dude that banged on me, his crew. And like throughout the year, like it was cool. And then one day, you know, it was just like one of the things where I'm like, man, y'all, like, you know, the homie, I'm, I'm telling the homie and a few other dudes that we all um, hung out together. I'm like, man, y'all cool. Like, I don't mind. We should, you know, I'm going I'm to be part of the brotherhood. You feel me? We finna hang out. We gonna, I'm going to roll with y'all. And that's where it took off for me. That's where my beginning started. Did you ever attach yourself with any other groups like Hustler Sets or other crews before Park Village? No. Okay, you went straight to Park Village. Straight. <laughs> like, didn't get put on no other hood. Didn't have no fights. Oh, yeah, you from... Nah. I associated with Power Rules, though. And a few Crips. I, I lived in the Crip neighborhood, went to school with Power Rules, and it was cool. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, at, at that point in my life, it was like a neutral thing. It was real neutral. Because I knew Crips, I knew Power Rules, and um, it was cool. But then moving to the West Side, me, I'm getting a little older. I'm 12, getting ready to turn 13, and I'm hanging at school with these dudes every day. These are like my everyday homies. I'm going to school with them. We hanging out. Some of them went to high school with. And it just kind of just, we just kind of grew into that. You know, I grew into that with them. You know? Now, you mentioned at, at Whaley there were some Crips there. But was it difficult? Because the, Whaley is deep in the east side Pyru area. Mob, looters, lime. Oh, it was, it, was, it was times where it was cracking. They'd be fighting each other and all type of stuff. But, you know... <laughs> that was just part of it, you know what I'm saying? I was used to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'll have a few pyrus get into it with a crib, but it, it wouldn't be nothing, though. It wouldn't be nothing super serious. Like, I, I, I can recall, I don't think no deaths happened on the campus, maybe around, but not on campus, like, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't, like, super tripping. Niggas are tripping, but it wasn't like niggas going to lose their life. So eighth grade is the last grade at Walton? No, it's sixth, seventh, eighth. I just went to I went to Walton for my eighth grade. Yeah, eight, eighth is the last grade at Walton, right? There's no it doesn't ninth is high school in Compton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At um, the years you went. Yeah, yeah. Because back in the day, tenth grade was the first year for high school. Yeah, my dad told me that. Yeah, centennial. <laughs> he was like, um, it was a. Uh, I believe it started like that. Ten, yeah. eleven, twelve would have been 11, high school. Yeah. yeah. Then in the nineties, they. Uh, they they changed it, so yeah, so okay. so you went from Walton to uh, which high school? Dominguez. Ninth grade, and what was that like? Turned up. All Crips, right? Nah. Nah. A little bit of both. Yeah. Now these are more these are big boys now <laughs> <laughs> that that are getting their squabble on. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what was your first year at Dominguez like? Uh, turned up. <laughs> it was turned. You know, back then, a little, you know, it was a lot of, it was racial tension too. 
you know, so I was squabbling Mexicans too, you feel me? So that's when it started, I started seeing the racial tension with Mexicans and blacks. You know what I'm saying? I started seeing that. In high school? Yeah. Like, middle school too. It was a little bit, especially at Walton, it was, it was up there. But I seen a lot of it growing, like going to high school. And was the, was the tension just strictly race, black, Mexican, or was it also tied into the streets, the gangs as well? It was all that. It was all of it. It was politics. You know, niggas getting into it with these niggas. You know, you got black hoods getting into it with the SA hoods over there. And they come up to the school. They come to school with their homies. And then we waiting at the end of school. Then these niggas coming up to school with their homies. It was, man, it was, the Migas had, the Migas was turned up. <laughs> And what hood is uh, Dominguez in? It's not really in a hood, but it's surrounded by a few hoods. It's surrounded. It's like it's the ending. It's like that borderline. It's like Compton going into Paramount. Yeah. It's actually on the other side of the river, if I'm not mistaken. The riverbed. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, uh, I always thought that was the Paramount side, but I guess some of Compton is on that side too. So when you, okay, so when you're on Compton Boulevard and you're going up that way, where the bridge at, that's still considered Compton. All that land on that backside is considered Compton. And what's attached to the school? Dominguez. That school is attached to that land. The golf course, the bridge is still Compton. So, and then when you come to the, I want to say, I don't want to say if that, if they calling that the actual backside of it, where the football field at, where, uh, where Home Depot is, I'm guessing that's the backside. So that's where it says, welcome to Paramount. So you, it was really, it was, that's why I said the borderline. Yeah. That's why I said it's the borderline. So. So it's kind of right just off of Alondra. Yeah. 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 Okay. So on that side, uh, I'm assuming there must've been a lot of CV 70 Mexican kids. Man, you had, man, you had a few, you had a few Mexican hoods over there. Like, like from on that side, you had a few seven O's, few segundos. It was like some little cliques, like little, you know, Hispanic cliques that went there. You had, you know, you had your Compton Crips that went there. You had your Compton Power Rules that went there. You, you might have had an L.A. dude or two that went there. A Watts, a couple of Watts niggas that went there. <laughs> oh, no, it was for sure. It was for sure a couple of Watts niggas there. You feel me? It was for sure. I switch over a little bit towards the end of my high school year or mid one of them. So did you make it through to your senior year at Dominguez? No. I got kicked out. <laughs> I was kicked out for fighting. Teachers said I threatened them. I was going to fight them and all this stuff. So they kicked me out. And I ended up getting kicked out going to Compton High. And that's where I did the remainder in like the ending of my 11th grade year and my whole 12th grade year. But like even when I went to summer school, like I went to summer school at Dominguez and Compton High. Like, I went to I went to Dominguez summer school uh, summer school one year, couldn't get in one that one year. Then went to Compton High, so like I really shared the school. Like even though I didn't I didn't go to Compton High all four years, I went to Compton High my last year and like a little bit of my eleventh grade year. So you did all your elementary in Compton, your middle school at Whaley and Walton in Compton, and then your high school at Dominguez and Compton, uh, High. Compton high School. Yeah. Compton, you nigga, Compton through and through. Compton huh? nigga, that's just <laughs> shit. Compton through you and through, me? yeah. I don't yeah. know if I'm, I mean I know a lot of Compton dudes that might have said, Yeah, my mom sent me to school over here or nah, I went over there. Nah, I didn't get sent know? nowhere. <laughs> you yeah. would think though. Yeah. You would think, like, oh, you know, got both parents, they trying to work, dude. Let me send them to a private school. Nah, nigga, this. <laughs> I was in the I was in the trench, man. You know, I was in the trench. You feel me? I was in the hood. Now so. compare uh, attending Dominguez versus attending the Compton High School. What was the difference for you culturally? It was both turned up. Both. But would you say Compton High School was more predominantly a crip school? Yeah. Where most Dominguez definitely. was a mixed school. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So if you, when you when you uh, when you elaborate like that or explain like that. Yeah, uh, Dominguez had both. It was Bloods, Power Rules, Crips, Compton High, Crip. You had a few that got through the, you know, they maneuvered through a few Power Rules that, you know, they hung, they, they lasted, you know, and they were some good dudes. Like, I know one of them to this day, he's, he's a good dude. He's a known dude, does movies and all that, man. 
you know, so. But a Pyru going to Compton High School, he either has to be low key and blend in, or he has to be that dude that's yeah. like, yeah, you know, you have to be like, like I said, you have to be like the. But I'm gonna just say it. his name is Mike Taylor. You feel me? He was a nigga that was. He was. He stood on what he stood on. You know what I'm saying? And the homies was cool with him because he wasn't no buster. And you had a lot of niggas who checked in. They were like, oh, home bang. Yeah, and then we know, like, you know where you at, like, because <laughs> the Crips ran the school. Like, like, a lot of my homies ran, it was up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of my homies was at the school running shit at the time. So, when I came, it was like, welcome home. It wasn't like nothing. Now, I, now I didn't have a few fades up there, but it wasn't like I was having fades every day because, shit, we ran the school. We, we knew what's up. 